Okay, then hello everyone to today's seminar on interval methods in control engineering. And it's my very great pleasure to welcome today Hao Liu from the School of Automation at the Shenyang Aerospace University in China. And as he received in 2007 his Bachelor of Science degree in aircraft engineering, afterwards a Master of Science degree two years later at the Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Uh, Yes, and he received his PhD degree in control science and engineering from the Harbin Institute of Technology. And from 2012 in February till August 2012, he was a visiting scholar at a university in Italy. And his research interests focus on cyber attacks, switch system, multi-agent systems, and reinforcement learning. Yes, and we're looking forward to your presentation on a watermark-based proactive defense strategy design for cyber physical systems with unknown but bounded noises. The floor is yours. Thank you for your using. And uh, uh, I'm delighted to thank you, Derek, for inviting me to share my uh, Research with everyone. And uh, uh, my presentation, the title of my presentation is the Automarked Based uh, Data Design for Cyber Physical Systems with uh, Unknown but Bounded Noises. Uh, oh, hello, can you hear me clearly? Yes, no problem at all. Uh, okay. Uh, more details uh, about my presentation can be found in uh, this paper uh, published in TSC last year. Uh, there are analysis, uh, the design of functions and automarks, attack detection in different scenarios. Uh, the last one is the uh, uh, concludings and the future work. Um, now, in recent years, several uh, attacks uh, which may deteriorate the system, system, uh, system performance have attracted much attention of researchers. Uh, in addition, uh, the, uh, you know, the goal of night in the mail uh, 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 performance of data automation by corrupting census data while uh, attempting to remain DOC. Uh, so there exist many uh, detection uh, approaches. Uh, for example, uh, 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 protect, uh, attack detection approaches based on what mass and uh, moving target. Uh, but now it should be pointed out that the existing proactivity can only be used to uh, detect uh, attacks on the system with Gaussian noises, and uh, it cannot be directly uh, utilized to detect uh, attacks for system with unknown but uh, bounded noises. Uh, so uh, we have. Uh, Dealt, dealt with uh, the, uh, the attack detection uh, for the system with uh, unknown but abandoned uh, non this. And now uh, uh, let's look at a uh, thick run uh, the system structure uh, in the presence of uh, attacks. The plant uh, is a, uh, a linear system, and uh, we will. Uh, give the uh, details uh, later and the smart sensor uh remote at center have the same structure. Uh, you know uh in our research uh, the uh, the signal of uh, r sub key is uh, transmitted through the uh, open uh, network uh, so uh, the signal uh, could be vulnerable to uh, malicious attacks um, but uh, before uh, the uh, estimation residue is transferred, and then uh, the decode. Uh, so 
uh, we uh, want to add some, uh, we, we want to design some uh, uh, functions uh, to uh, improve the attack detection uh, rate. So uh, this is uh, what marking uh, is used uh, to achieve this aim. Uh, another system model is a linear uh, system, uh, but uh, you know the country input uh, use the key is not taken into uh, account, but uh, the results proposed in our research can also be extended to the situation the, the country input uh, is considered. Uh, here, uh, omega sub key and uh, with key uh, are assumed to belong to uh, zoonotopes, which uh, are, since, uh, are uh, described by uh, the center and the generator matrix. Uh, the smart uh, sensor and the remote estimator uh, are designed as follows. Uh, the, the observer, again, air uh, can be designed by using the P radius uh, theory. And uh, we didn't uh, uh, give the result here and it can be found in our paper. Uh, the data processes include uh, uh, two processes, uh, uh, namely uh, the, the data pre-process and the uh, data recover, uh, like uh, uh, encoding and decoding. Uh, here, uh, the function f uh, is assumed to be a uh, continuous and uh, a monotone function, and its uh, inversible function exists. Uh, here, uh, our the key is the a remote estimator. Here, and now uh, let's consider the uh, the attack model. Uh, first, uh, we should. Uh, uh, Consider uh, what information uh, an attacker can uh, receive. Uh, now, look at this picture uh, R prime sub key plus that I R sub key uh, can be obtained by a malicious uh, attacker. And then, based on this signal, an uh, attacker uh, can design the attack's uh, function. So we use G, the function G, uh, to describe uh, the attack function. Uh, here, uh, the function G is uh, only assumed to be continuous. And uh, the corresponding attack uh, detector can be designed as follows. Uh, here, I bar and uh, R, uh, R, uh, R non, uh, is designed as these two uh, equations. Uh, I, it should uh, be uh, pointed up to that. Uh, How to design the function f and the and the what mark the that uh, the proposed uh, detection rate can reach uh, one hundred percent. Uh, so we need to give uh, some conditions uh, that is to say how to de uh, how to design the uh, the encoding. Uh, How to uh, uh, compute the the state estimation error? Excuse uh, me, how? 
May I briefly okay. interrupt you? We are from time to time, we are losing the audio connection. Could you switch off your camera, please? If you switch off the camera, this reduces the bandwidth. Okay. Is it okay? Yes. If you just start from the beginning of this slide. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let's consider the attack detection and the performance uh, analysis. Uh, look at the big one again. Uh, in this uh, figure, uh, there are some more parameters uh, to be calculated. Uh, for example, uh, the data uh, the data estimation ratio uh, are the key. Uh, uh, R has the key is really important because uh, it uh, uh, consists the the uh, function f uh, the the attack the, the uh, attack signal. Uh, the automaking uh, and so on, uh, which is utilized to uh, design the detect, uh, attack detect, detector. Um, but the details of uh, how to calculate it uh, will not um, be given in my presentation uh, and they can be found in, the, in our paper. Uh, and uh, I We give the first uh, main result about uh, attack uh, uh, detection. Uh, you know, there are uh, four uh, different uh, situations uh, about uh, the about uh, uh, one and the first. Have you? Uh, give you a detailed uh, so now in this one uh, the detection rate uh, the detection rate uh, is zero at time step k uh, that is to say the uh, all attacks can be uh, designed to uh, if uh, the defender of the system uh, can use the watermark uh, strategy. And uh, uh, if the uh, watermark is designed uh, appropriately, uh, then the detection rate can reach uh, 100%. And uh, then I will give a how to design the watermark to uh, achieve this aim. And uh, now we give the definition of optimal uh, watermark. Uh, the proposed uh, watermark and that I the key is optimal uh, if the uh, designed uh, if it is designed to send to, uh, the uh, the attack detection rate uh, can reach one percent. So we call the corresponding watermark is optimal. Uh, and then, based on the system models, uh, attack uh, uh, models, and Okay. 
follow that. You can Okay, please start from okay, here from the, yes, please start from here from the performance analysis slide. Okay. Uh, I know we now let's uh, consider the design of uh, function f. Uh, according to something to uh, F is assumed to be a continuous and uh, monotonous function, and uh, its uh, inversible function is this. Uh, so uh, F can be designed uh, in variety of forms. For example, we can choose uh, F uh, equal to uh, R sub key to three and so on. But for simplicity, uh, a linear function is designed in our paper, which uh, satisfies uh, f equal to r sub key uh, times r sub key. Uh, here, uh, r uh, sub key is a time varying parameter and uh, not equal to zero. Uh, and that's, uh, let's consider the attack function. Uh, attack function is also uh, a continuous uh, function. Uh, here, uh, we also uh, Consider uh, this function is uh, uh, linear. It's linear, uh, so uh, it has this uh, form uh, here. Uh, the capital, uh, the capital gamma is a key, and the uh, mu sub key are parameters uh, to be designed by an attacker. And uh, you know, from this uh, this uh, figure, we can see that uh, an attacker uh, can receive uh, the signal uh, r prime sub key uh, plus this r sub key. Uh, so um, an attacker can only use this data to design uh, the corresponding function. Uh, if an attacker can obtain the watermark or the encoding function, then uh, he or she uh, could uh, design uh, the attacks to be using, and uh, we will consider this situation later. Uh, and that's the uh, we uh, consider the design of what mark. Uh, here, the what mark uh, we consider uh, it belongs to a uh, zonative uh, center that at a uh, b sub key uh, sub r, and uh, uh, we want to the detection uh, detection rate can reach uh, one percent. Then the watermark should uh, satisfy the following condition. Uh, this condition, this the conditions uh, can be obtained by using uh, the uh, attack detector, the, the system model, and the attack model. Uh, so the, 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 this is the main result uh, which we will be showing in the simulation that the uh, watermark uh, is really important uh, to improve the attack detection rate. Now let's consider uh, four different uh, attack, attack uh, scenarios. Now first, uh, now let's consider the first uh, situation. Um, both uh, alpha sub key and data R sub key are not available to an, attack, an attacker. Uh, that is to say, an attacker uh, cannot uh, obtain uh, the, uh, the information about uh, the encoding function and uh, the watermark, uh, even if it can obtain the system model, but uh, it cannot uh, design uh, the stupid attacks. Uh, in this situation, uh, attack can be designed as follows. Uh, here is the uh, information that uh, an attacker uh, can obtain from the uh, network. Uh, uh, here, uh, because uh, an attacker cannot obtain the information about the watermark uh, and uh, the encoding function, 
uh, so uh, he or she can guess it, but uh, you know um, the prob the probability that uh, an attacker can directly uh, guess the a, a number uh, is really small. Uh, so uh, in these two equations, the the FIBA and PETIBA are, are small positive numbers. So we can derive then to uh, the uh, probability uh, of an attacker can uh, continuously correct, uh, uh, continuously guess the parameters R T uh, and the data R sub K uh, correctly is really small and will uh, approach to zero uh, after n steps. Uh, here uh, and can be uh, com communicated, uh, calculated uh, according to this. Now we give an uh, example. Uh, if we set a uh, uh, favor and the uh, bar uh, equal to uh, 10 uh, to the minus 4, and then we can derive them to n equal to 2. Well, then that, that, that is to say uh, uh, an attacker the ability that an attacker can uh, continuously uh, guess the uh, parameters correctly uh, for uh, three steps, the, the probability uh, will, uh, will be lower than uh, 10, uh, my, uh, 10 to uh, minus 15. And which is really small, and uh, this is the uh, detection results, um, which shows that uh, all the, the detections can be detected uh, by the uh, proposed uh, detector in his one. Uh, that's it to see if an attacker cannot obtain the information uh, about uh, the watermark and uh, uh, the encoding function, then uh, he or she cannot design a the attacks. Now let's consider the second uh, situation. Uh, only the parameter alpha sub key is uh, available to an attacker. Let's say to see uh, an attacker can only obtain uh, the information about uh, the encoding function. And then uh, he or she can uh, design the corresponding function uh, as this. Um, but uh, you know, our, uh, because an adversary can only obtain the information about uh, the encoding uh, function, but uh, he or she cannot obtain the estimation ratio R the key. Uh, even if uh, an attack can uh, obtain the information about the system model, but uh, uh, he cannot uh, obtain the mirror up to the west of key. Uh, so uh, R sub key is also not available to him. Uh, so uh, the an attacker has to design the corresponding uh, function at this uh, R first sub key. Uh, times mu sub key, so the correspond the corresponding uh, R here to the key because the the original uh, estimation uh, residue plus this parameter. Um, but uh, sometimes uh, you know an attacker uh, cannot obtain the corresponding uh, parameter, but uh, he or she can and guess. So the corresponding uh, attack signal or attaching can be designed as this, which implies that uh, R has a sub key equals to uh, this equation. Uh, you know, uh, from this equation, we can derive that a smaller uh, alpha key corresponds into a large R head sub key. Uh, that is to say, a smaller half key will uh, make 
uh, the attack detection rate um, become uh, improve the the attack detection rate because uh, the the parameter are head stub key uh, become large. Uh, this is the attack uh, detection result when the uh, when an attack an attacker uh, design uh, the corresponding uh, function uh, satisfy this uh, condition, then the majority of attacks can be detected. Uh, well, um, sometimes if an attacker can design the uh, up, the, the, the attacker signals uh, satisfies this uh, equation, then all with uh, malicious attacks can remain still safe. So uh, in this in this situation, uh, we can see that uh, uh, an attacker could uh, design still safe attacks uh, when uh, the only the postmark is unknown to him or her. Another uh, situation is that the only uh, the watermark is uh, visible to an attacker. Uh, so uh, an adversary can guess the encoding function uh, alpha the key in this situation. Uh, the information that uh, from this uh, equation, uh, we can see that uh, the information that uh, an attacker can obtain is uh, alpha stub key uh, times R uh, stop key. But uh, from fig one, we, we, we know that an attacker uh, can receive the information or signal uh, is uh, here, R stop key, uh, R stop key plus that R stop key. But uh, uh, that R stop key is available to an attacker, so uh, he or she can uh, R first of key, uh, R sub key uh, is also known to him. Uh, so the the attack function can be designed as this. If we, uh, from this uh, uh, expression, we can see that if the uh, parameter uh, R first of key is uh, small enough, then uh, R hat key uh, will become very very large in this in this situation. Uh, all uh, attacks uh, will be uh, detected because this uh, variable is related to the uh, attack detector. This is the the attack detection result in uh, case three. From the, the, the results, we can see that the majority of attacks can also be uh, detected. Now let's consider the last situation. Uh, both uh, encoding function and uh, the watermark are available to an attacker. And in this uh, situation, we can say that uh, we can see that the, all of the information about the system, the encoding fun function, the watermark, and so on are uh, all available to an adversary. Uh, so uh, we can see an attacker uh, can design uh, the attack signal uh, to uh, achieve the detector and uh, achieve its uh, his uh, or her aim to deteriorate. Uh, deteriorate the uh, state estimation performance and uh, a while uh, remain the DOC. This is the detection result. Uh, from the simulation result, uh, we can see that uh, all uh, malicious attacks can remain DOC and the estimation, uh, estimation performance uh, can be greatly uh, deteriorated by uh, attacks. So uh, let's see 
I will give the conclusions and uh, future work. Uh, first, uh, it is almost uh, uh, from the uh, for, uh, from all situations we can see that uh, uh, it uh, is impossible for an attacker uh, to love and just use the attacks if both uh, encoding function and the robot mark are not to uh, available uh, to him or her. This conclusion is also uh, applicable to the case that only the parameter uh, alpha the key uh, is available to the attacker. A second conclusion is that when the watermark can be obtained by an attacker, then uh, he or she can design the corresponding DLC uh, attacks more the the estimation error can be further affected by both the parameter uh, alpha sub key and the what mark available to uh, the adversary. But that is that is to say uh, the encoding the encoding function is really important uh, in improving the the attack detection. Then uh, the last uh, conclusion is that it is necessary for the uh, defender to choose a small uh, alpha subkey and ensure that both the parameters uh, alpha subkey and the watermark are time-wary and uh, a secret to an uh, attacker which can prevent an attacker from continuously leveraging the uh, attack. Uh, you know, when the uh, parameters uh, are the, the key and the watermark uh, are uh, time invariant. So uh, the, the an attacker can guess it uh, correctly. Uh, some in yeah, some situations, so uh, we have to uh, design the corresponding uh, parameters to be time wary and uh, secret uh, to prevent uh, 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 an attacker uh, to leverage stealthy attacks. Uh, so in our future work, we will investigate uh, the attack detection issue for uh, nonlinear uh, systems with unknown but abundant noises. In addition, uh, the noises, the, the, the set of uh, noises uh, may be characterized by nine complex sets uh, and, and so on. Uh, thank you for listening. Yes, and thank you very much for your interesting presentation. As usual, the talk is now open for discussions. See, is there anyone who wants to ask a question? Okay, maybe let me start with a practical uh, question. Uh, did you already test your approach to some real life engineering uh, example uh, in experiment or did you only perform a simulation so far? Uh, uh, yes, uh, we have uh, do some simulations and uh, uh, we applied uh, our uh, uh, theory in the uh, UAV system, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, but uh, uh, you know sometimes uh, the theory in practical systems may be invalid, but uh, we 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 can uh, achieve the aim and uh, detect. Uh, 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 they, they had uh, attacks in a uh, simple, uh, uh, simple system. Okay, and since you just mentioned simple systems, uh, yes. how, how well but, does uh, your for approach... complex, uh, for complex uh, systems, uh, we, we didn't do the corresponding experiment. Yeah. Okay, but uh, let's assume you have uh, higher dimensional system models. How well does your approach scale? Is there any, let's say, practical obstacle with larger system dimensions, 
or would it be more or less independent of the order of the system? Uh, so sorry, I can't uh, hear clear clearly. Yes, you had at the beginning of your talk, you had those uh, state equations that you had shown. And yes, the dimension or typically state estimation, also set value state estimation, uh, depends also the complexity depends on the size of your state vector, the number of state variables that you want to reconstruct. Uh, do you have any general statement uh, that could be made with respect to the system order? Or is your capability of... Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, but my connection is unstable. <laughs> okay, can let, yes, we, we can hear you. Okay, let, let me try one last time. Let <laughs> me try one last time. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, the order of your system model. Does this have any influence on your um, yes, corresponding estimation results that you presented? Okay, I'm afraid that we have lost the connection again. How can you hear us? Uh, okay, can you hear me? Yes, we, we uh, yes, at, <laughs> at the moment we hear you, but we didn't hear any reply. Maybe you can write the question uh, in the yeah. chat. Okay, I'll, I'll try to write this. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I typed in the question in the chat whether there's a dependency of the re estimation results on the order. Oh, okay, I can see it. Sorry, sorry. Sometimes my connection is bad. I can, I can't hear it. You clearly. So I can, can you hear me clearly? Yes, yes we, we hear you. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, for this question, uh, yes, the, all the experiments uh, we do uh, is two order of the system model. Uh, mm. But uh, it can be. Uh, applied to the higher order of the model system, but uh, um, maybe uh, the the estimation results. Uh, I don't know how to do that because uh, we only do the uh, experiment uh, uh, on the uh, two orders of the. Uh, the system. <laughs> okay, then let's say this maybe uh, I, I, it uh, can be applied to higher. Yeah. Okay. Practical, let's say it's practical just an system. On ongoing work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But uh, for uh, numerical uh, experiment, uh, it can be applied to uh, a higher order. But uh, I don't know uh, in the practical experiment uh, whether it, it, it is also validated. Okay, yes. Then let's check if there is there anyone else who wants to ask a question. Okay, this doesn't seem to be the case. Then how again many thanks for giving your talk in our seminar series. Okay, okay thank you, thank you. Ha have a nice evening. Yeah. To the rest of the audience, have a yes, nice afternoon. And we'll meet each other again on Friday in two weeks for the next presentation in the seminar series. Thank you, Al. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Thank, Thank you. you.